Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for being here today. I know that this is absolutely the top news in the entire country today, so I'm not, I, I hope you're not distracted by anything else that might be going on. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Steve Kalk. I'm the chairman of the Federal Savings Bank, and uh, we are a federally chartered bank focused on first-time home buyer and veteran home lending education and home lending on a national basis. I'm here today to share some very, very exciting news on behalf of the Federal Savings Bank and our board of directors. Um, I'm here to announce that we have chosen the city of Chicago uh, as the location of our National Home Loan Center, uh, bringing 400 jobs over the next three years here to the great city of Chicago. I want to thank Mayor Rahm Emanuel and his team and the support of Governor Quinn and the state of Illinois in helping us make this decision. It's probably no secret that this was a very highly competitive process. Uh, it was a national process, and the city of Chicago competed vigorously uh, against all its competitors coast to coast, including the city of Los Angeles and the city of New York. The reasons why the Federal Savings Bank chose to move its operation here is quite simple. Number one, most importantly, the tremendous talent pool and our ability to help influence the curricula of the city colleges and the support of the city colleges in developing the talent pool for employees of the Federal Savings Bank's National Home Loan Center. The second is its strategic location, uh, our ability to serve our customers nationwide, and uh, thirdly, uh, the tremendous Midwest work ethic. Most importantly, the willingness of the city and the state to work alongside a private company and invest in the future of the city of Chicago. Now, it's probably no surprise to any of you here that uh, this gentleman can be a very, very convincing guy. Um, I want to thank Mayor Rahm Emanuel. I want to thank Deputy Mark Angelson. <clears throat> I want to thank Mr. Martin Cabrera, the chair of the Chicago Planning Commission, as well as, on behalf of the state, Mr. Dan Seals and Governor Quinn and his team. We're very much looking forward to a long and prosperous relationship with the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois, and with that, Please allow me to introduce our mayor, Mr. Ron Emanuel. Thanks very much. Thanks for Thank coming. You, Thank you. Thank you, uh, Steve, and I do appreciate that Chicago was selected. This is the fourth headquarters uh, we've announced, 27th company we've announced, but the fourth headquarters with GE Transportation, Federal Savings, TK from Germany, and then Sarah Lee, all picking the city of Chicago adding thousands of jobs uh, to the city of Chicago and expanding our workforce. I also personally, while I do want to thank the state, I want to also personally thank Martin Cabrera, who brought it to, uh, the possibility of the bank in their headquarters to our attention, which is why we set up the meeting, I think now about three, three and a half months ago, to talk about the opportunity to move to the city. The additional good news, while it's not only the workforce, which is essential, their headquarters is going to be about a little less than a half a mile, a few blocks away, from where the new Morgan Station, CTA station, opened up. Reinforcing the basic point that if you invest in both the capacity of your workforce and you invest in the physical infrastructure, and they see a city willing to do those type of tough things, companies will pick the city of Chicago and its workers and its city to move a headquarters to. And those are the type of investments we need to make and then get out of the way. It is banks, CEOs like Steve who create jobs, it is our responsibility as a city and a state to be a partner by creating the atmosphere and the environment for companies to create jobs. And that means investing in our infrastructure, be that the human potential, as well as the critical infrastructure by having a CTA station near where employees can get to and from home to work. What I'm particularly par proud about, we are using about $4 million of TIF dollars, job training dollars here. Because of Steve's personal background, West Point and in the military. He will be participating, the company will, in helping recruit veterans for these jobs, returning veterans. And that will be a critical piece of staffing the 400 uh, jobs, the first 100 coming immediately and then over the next couple of years, the other 300. And we'll participate in July 12th, we're having a, a veterans job fair with our city office. And the bank will be active in both the recruitment, training, and preparation to make sure our returning veterans have a shot at these jobs. And I can't thank them enough for making that commitment 
because for a number of veterans who are returning and are basically coming back from both Iraq, Afghanistan, we have to make sure as both the city, the state, and I know the governor is committed to this as I am, that our veterans come home and have an ability to transition into civilian life. And you need a CEO, while everybody talks about it, you need a CEO who is committed to driving that process forward and make sure that their company just doesn't do it kind of as a checklist, but makes it a mission of that company. And I want to personally thank you for not only your service, not only your training at West Point, but then seeing it through as the CEO of a bank to that value system to making sure our veterans have the opportunity to participate in a growing company, a company that has got a bright and strong future. I am particularly proud of the headquarters here.